Does the Enigma work with tiny guns? People often ask where to find an Enigma compatible holster for extremely small guns like the SIG P238, 938, or the Ruger LCP2. While some holsters work better than others, don't worry, we have some recommendations, first you need a brief warning about what to expect when using an extremely small gun with the Filster Enigma. We'll cover everything you need to know in this video, and for more resources, check out the links in the description box below. So first, let's define the tiny gun category. For the purposes of this video, we're going to define tiny guns as guns smaller in size than the ever popular Glock 42, which is the smallest gun we make an Enigma Express for. Some people refer to this size category as as pocket guns. While tiny guns does not have a tightly defined boundary, here are some examples of guns we would consider tiny for the purposes of our holsters. Tiny guns should be easy to conceal, but ironically, tiny guns can actually be quite a struggle to conceal when wearing them in a traditional inside the waistband holster or on the Enigma. This is due to the keel principle. Simply put, the keel principle just means that tiny guns don't have enough mass below the waterline or below your belt line, so they tend to tip out at the top. Like a keel on a sailboat, the length of the holster below the belt normally helps balance the weight, making it more concealable and more comfortable. But since tiny guns often have short muzzles, they don't have enough keel below the belt in order to be balanced, which of course makes the grip of the firearm want to tip out and print while the muzzle digs in and creates an uncomfortable hotspot. Sometimes holster manufacturers try to solve this imbalance by putting the grip of the gun closer to the belt, or in the case of belly bands and corset holsters, by covering it with fabric. This sort of works, but it causes an unacceptably slow and impeded draw. So it's essential to have proper grip clearance on your holster so that you can draw the gun quickly and safely in an emergency. So in order to avoid fumbles and tragic mishaps, you must be able to get your hand fully around the grip of the gun before the gun clears the holster. And it's for these reasons that we don't recommend holsters that compromise grip clearance in order to improve concealment. We can have both. Note though that this is separate from the topic of deep carry, which is when you deliberately carry your gun below your waistband, deep carry holsters must also provide proper grip clearance, so the same principles apply even in that special circumstance. With the gun inserted into the holster, check that you have enough space to put a US quarter between the grip of the gun and the wing of the holster. And if you find that you have larger hands, make sure you have room to fully grip the gun without interference from the holster's wing. Note, before buying an Enigma, make sure your holster also fits all the other compatibility criteria from the fit guide linked in the description below. Although you can use the Enigma with tiny guns, there's a few things that you'll wanna make note of first. Since the gun is so tiny, all the Enigma concealment features will be oversized in relation to the gun. So in other words, the holster shell and the entire Enigma footprint will be larger than the gun itself. Customers who tried the Enigma with micro guns are sometimes disappointed because they're expecting the overall footprint to be smaller. Take a look at this picture. You can see how the holster is longer than the muzzle of the gun at the bottom. This is necessary in order to fit the two screws that attach the mod wing. Tiny guns are so small that they don't have enough space below the trigger guard to mount the holster hardware, so extra length must be added to the holster. When you use the Enigma with a tiny gun, you may also notice that the material of the Enigma's faceplate sticks out past the holster, and since the gun is so small, you may end up with a lot of that faceplate material actually contacting your skin. So you'll definitely want to consider using a liner layer like an undershirt or a bandeau underneath your Enigma for comfort purposes. And if you understand all the factors we've discussed thus far when pairing a tiny gun with the Enigma, and you'd still like to use the Enigma anyway, everything you'll need to know to proceed successfully is broken down into these easy steps. Find a compatible holster, order the correct Enigma, and assemble it using the instructions and resources we provide. If you follow those steps in order, you'll be in for a much smoother experience. And to find more details about tiny gun holster compatibility, selecting the correct Enigma and assembly resources, check out the written version of this video in the description below. In our written resource, you'll find direct links to all the information you need in order to get started. And we'll see you in the next video.